So, you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. It's based on a book series about vampires. Oh, vampires are extremely cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not these ones, though. Oh, they're not? No, they're not. You know how vampires, like, turn to dust when they're exposed to sunlight? Yeah. Well, these ones sparkle like beautiful little diamonds. Okay, okay. What about mirrors? Do they, like, show up in mirrors? Yep, these ones certainly do, sir. They seem to be quite amused by them in certain instances as well. Wow, okay, do they do, like, the basic vampire thing of sucking blood out of people? Right. These ones try not to. They call themselves vegetarians. Oh. Okay. Most of them go to high school. I, I gotta say, I'm not <laughs> loving this concept so far. Well, the books have sold millions of copies to brand loyal preteens with disposable income. Okay, I gotta say, I'm loving this concept so far. <laughs> I thought you might. So what happens with these sparkly bad boys? Well, the movie's gonna follow this girl, Bella Swan. Oh, and what's she like? What do you mean? Like, what's her character? What's her personality? Oh, no, she doesn't, that doesn't apply here. What? Yeah, no, she's just as plain as can be, so the girls in the audience can just transpose their personalities onto her. Oh, okay, yeah, that's smart. Yeah, so okay. she's just the blankest slate you can imagine. Aren't the other characters gonna find her boring, though? No, nope, they're all gonna freak out when she walks into a room like she's the greatest thing ever. Oh, they are? Yeah, like at the beginning of the movie, she's starting at a new school, and all the guys are all over her, and all the girls are like, oh my god, hi. Wow, 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 wow. So anyway, then she's gonna find out about this family called the Cullens that go to her high school, and they're all secretly vampires. Do they look like they're of high school age? No, nope, they're all clearly in their 20s. <laughs> so why, why go to high school? <laughs> to blend in. Do they blend in? No, they don't. Seems no. like it'd be better for vampires to not go to high school what if a student gets a paper cut uh, well then it would be over for sure right so so why do they go to high school because that's where the main character spends her time and i need them to interact oh yeah okay gotcha that's all you had to say so anyway bella develops this romantic thing with one of the vampires this guy edward cullen how does that start well she walks into class and he looks like he's about to vomit so that you know really kicks things off <laughs> oh romantic puking is tight yeah so then he's like super rude to her and he stares at her like he pooped his pants and he's trying to see if she noticed undeniably romantic it is, so obviously they fall deeply in love with each other. Because of the poop stairs and the meanness. Yeah, and also he saves her from being pancaked by a van and then gaslights her about it ever happening. So does she find out that he's a vampire? Yeah, eventually she figures it out. How does she do that? Uh, she just, she Googles it. Oh, characters learning stuff via search engines. That's one of my favorite things to watch. It is very <laughs> cinematic, for sure. So then she confronts him about it. She's like, yeah, I know you're a vampire. And what does he say? Well, he's like, you shouldn't love me, Bella. I'm like a hundred years old and I've killed people. Oh my god, he's a hundred? Yeah, he's a hundred years old and he's like I've been watching you sleep every night for months I a very old man have been breaking into your room and watching you sleep <laughs> she realizes how horrifying this is and distances herself no she goes with the exact opposite of that oh really yeah oh, she's God. like a bull she just sees a red flag and runs at it sure sounds that way yeah so then they're officially dating so they start to do like romantic stuff what kind of stuff are we talking well he gives her some piggyback rides they climb some trees just vampire stuff wow 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 there's also this just guy Jacob stuff. right and he's not gonna do much in this movie but in the next one he's gonna to be a werewolf. Oh, interesting. Yeah, and there's gonna be a love triangle, because this guy has visible abs, so that automatically makes him a love interest. <laughs> Very cool, and if we're lucky, fans will, like, take sides, you know? Some will be Team Edward, some will be Team Jacob. My thoughts exactly, sir. There's gonna be a huge debate oh, over God. which one of these two monsters gets to hook up with a teenage girl. <laughs> wow, now that you phrase it like that, I hate it to my very core. Oh, whoops. Whoops. <laughs> but anyway, eventually it's gonna turn out that he was never in love with her, he was just kinda, like, in love with her unborn child. What? Yeah, eventually when she gets pregnant, he's gonna be like, oh, I am vibing with that fetus. That's my girl right there. Oh, oh my god. So anyway, back to this movie. <laughs> Bella's gonna get to know Edward's family and go Getting play vampire baseball. I'm sorry, I thought you said vampire baseball, but that's one of the dumbest things I've ever heard. So what, 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 what did you actually say? <laughs> vampire baseball. Baseball with vampires. Oh, I did hear correctly. Okay, carry on. Yeah, so they do that for a bit, but then because something should probably happen in this thing, some bad vampires show up. Uh-oh, what's their deal? Well, this one vampire, James, becomes obsessed with Bella, like, right away. How come? Because she's the main character. Right. Yeah, so we find out that this James guy is like the deadliest vampire there is. He's gonna stop at nothing to get what he wants. Well, sounds like it's gonna be tough to stop him. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. <laughs> Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, see, they have like a little scuffle with him in a dance studio, and then his head pops clean off. Oh, well, good. So then they go to prom, and Bella's like, turn me into a vampire, you coward. And he's like, no, it's the first movie. I can't do that yet. You definitely <laughs> want to save that for later. Yeah, and then it just kind of ends. So what do you think? Well, it sounds like we're gonna be able to manipulate teenage girls into giving us money so I'm happy. Great. Although I do kind of feel bad for whoever we end up casting as Edward Cullen. Yeah, it is gonna be tough to book any badass movie roles after being known as the sparkly vampire dude. <laughs> I think he hit everything on the nose. Now, I've, I've seen bits and pieces, like parts of Twilight. I've, I've actually never watched a whole Twilight movie. I kind of refuse to. My wife recently, not recently, probably like late last year or middle of last year, she watched all of them, I believe. 
almost out of order, which I had to help her with because I know the order of them, but she almost did it out of order. And uh, she liked them. You know, more power to her. That's cool. Uh, <laughs> I've thought of like maybe checking out one of them, like the first one, just to see. But it's, uh, I don't know. Let me know if I should. Like, I'm obviously it's still funny watching these because because Ryan George and Screen Rant they did just do Twilight New Moon, which is a sequel. Uh, so I'll be doing that one too. But I figure, figure I start with this so I can do them in order as as he comes out with them. So uh, yeah, I don't know. Let me know if I'm missing anything by not watching these. I mean, I know the acting is pretty much terrible. Um, you know, there's a, there's some good fight scenes towards the latter movies, but is it worth it? Is it worth the pain of sitting through these and watching these? That's kind of why I want to know. So, you know, t- tell me, t- just tell me straight up. Let me know if I need to watch these or not. Uh, um, obviously, we know, yes, Robert Pattinson is Batman. He does now have coronavirus. He's he's uh, he's he's got COVID-19, which sucks. So I'm hoping he's doing OK. But eventually, if, you know, if he gets better, they'll resume filming on that. Get that done. If you saw the trailer, which I'll hit somewhere around here, um, they uh, yeah, actually will be over here think uh <laughs> when it comes to the uh the trailer if there was a trailer at dc fandom when they had their little uh virtual conference which was dope and that trailer was awesome so you can watch my reaction to that if you haven't seen that yet but um yeah let me know what you think of this pitch meeting it started out slow i will say that started out slow wasn't really feeling it in the beginning and then he kind of did a good job of you know catching up and, and making it pretty funny towards the end there so um, I'm looking to see if New Moon is better. I'll see if uh, you know if that one uh, tracks a little bit better with the comedy. But uh, let me know what you think of this pitch meeting. Uh, and thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.